Johnny Reviews and we're doing a little bit of a trip going all the way to New York. We're gonna hit Chick-fil-A, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings and a couple other places. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm here with a couple of friends. Eden. Ah, not the side. And that was kind of Ty, who's driving. So what are you guys looking forward to? Like food-wise? Keenan. Yeah, we have really shitty Taco Bell in Montreal. The greatest way to start. We ended up stopping at a gas station and my friends convinced me to have a gas station egg and a pickle, which was horrible. It wasn't fun at all. <laughs> he is going to be eating a gas station pickle and some gas station hard boiled eggs. Because apparently I don't mind being sick. At least I have the day off tomorrow. All right, so eggs first or pickle first? Which one's good? Go for the pickle. I feel like the pickle... I feel like you're a man who looks like he loves his pickles. Yeah. Okay, dude, eat one. Yeah, I'm gonna eat one. So how many ribs out of 13 do these get? Nothing. They're just nothing. <laughs> okay, good. The next place we went to was Chipotle. Oh damn, that's like the king of a burrito. <laughs> So I just went to Chipotle and had the burrito. We added a little bit more, I paid a little bit more for queso and it was really good. Like one of the best burritos I've ever had. Better than all the ones I've had in Montreal so far. It was a really good time. I, I took a few pictures, uh, so I'll be showing that as well. It's our first stop in uh, America, and I'm really looking forward to trying all the other food and try out a lot of the other stuff. It's, I'm gonna call it a, a solid eight on 10 when it comes down to the food and how good it is. I voted it a eight but maybe it should have been closer to a nine because that was some good burritos. Buffalo Wild Wings was a really good place to be. I found the chicken really soft and succulent and really well breaded. The sauces, there were a lot of them. It was really good to like try out the different ones. The super hot sauce and the honey garlic one was one of our uh, server's favorites and I could see why it was really tasty. Alright, so we're gonna do the blazing, which is ghost pepper sauce. Do a really big dunk. Oh, I was told not to do it like this, but okay. I may not survive this one. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Water makes it worse.
I've had ghost pepper sauce before, but not like this. Oh my god. try this one first and then that one. Mm. Nice and warm, garlicky. The chicken's really good. I couldn't taste it when I was burning my mouth off, but <laughs> I really enjoy this. I'm gonna give this a <laughs> Eight on ten, and the hot sauce is getting a ten on ten on burning. Like twelve, twelve on ten. The hottest thing I've had so far. That was painful. My review for Buffalo Wild Wings. It was really tasty. It was a lot of fun to be there. The hot sauce was crazy hot. It was one of the hotter sauces I've ever had, which was fun to try it out and enjoy. And uh, one of the other things that I found was that it was just a really good and nice atmosphere. The food was quick and the service was really nice. The next place we went to was Saboro. Okay, a lot of sauce. Cheese is uh, chewy and tasty. Pizza, not the worst pizza. It's just okay. Compared to all the other foods we had, it wasn't as good. And I really should have quoted it even lower, closer to a three than a six. The next place we went to was Texas Roadhouse, and it was a big change. It was like really interesting just to go there, have peanuts all over the place. It was really interesting just to have like a really good big meal. This is Johnny Reviews, and this is my uh, on-the-spot review for this wonderful Texas Roadhouse. So, I, I had the burger, the Roadhouse burger, and it was delicious, really good. There were peanuts, there were like, buns with the sweet uh, butter. Everything was great. I would give it a solid, Nine on ten. I'm gonna come again. Try maybe try the ribs. Try some other things. You know, just check it out. It's a really beautiful place. If you're allergic to peanuts, you're gonna die. So don't do that. They literally throw peanut shells everywhere. So and if you don't like country music, it's not great. But it's a fun day. And I would suggest going if you're ever in the States or you're from here. The whole place we went to was Applebee's where we had like the two bite brownies and it was just a nice end to a good evening. This is Johnny Reviews and the brownie bites. 
final review of the night. Yep. A nice way to end it. Light, tasty, nice and warm. Cheap. I really like it. And not too expensive, yeah. I'm really enjoying this, and it was like a nice little end of the night. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. This is Johnny Reviews, and this is the last stop of my around Plattsburgh trip. Uh, we ended at Applebee's, where I had the two-bite brownies, and it was nice, rich, uh, a bit like a mousse, but also a brownie. Like a nice mix of both. It was nice and gooey, and not too rich, where it was too sugary and not that great. I really liked it, like I said before. It's around a, uh, let's say a seven, because at the end of today, I'm just kind of like, my taste buds are dead, and it's getting a lot, I'm getting a little tired. But I had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of content I gave you guys, and I hope you watch my other videos about the other restaurants, and I hope that you really enjoyed and had fun with me. And had as much as fun as I did. Just checking out this place, road tripping it, just a few hours away from Montreal, and actually getting to enjoy the steaks. Thank you.